Assalamu alaikum, I am engineer Hamna Shakil. In this video, we will learn how to use quick method of dimensioning. In the dimension panel in annotate tab, you have an option of quick. Click on that option. Once you click on that option, AutoCAD asks you to select the geometry. I will select this geometry. Press enter. So you can see that these lines have been attached with the cursor. So if I move my cursor in the horizontal direction, these lines move in the horizontal direction. If I move in the vertical direction, these lines move in the vertical direction. So with one click on the screen, I can dimension all these lines. In the command line here, you can see that there are some options available that you can select before selecting a point on the screen. And all these options that are available in the command line are available here in the menu if you click the down arrow on the keyboard. So let's start with the continuous method. Click on this continuous and click on the screen either in this direction or in this direction. So, so I will just click here and you can see that all the lines have been dimensioned using the continuous method in one click. So I'm going to delete these, activate the quick command again and you can do that by using the alias QDIM, press enter, again select the same geometry press enter. This time from the menu, I will select the staggered option, press enter, click on the screen. So what you are seeing on the screen is the staggered method of dimensioning. If you want to pick this dimension text and place it somewhere else, you can do that. Click on the dimension text, click on this small blue square and pick the dimension text and place it wherever you want to place it. Click on the screen. And you can move these dimension text as per your requirement. Let's delete these. Activate the quick dimension again. Select the geometry. Press enter. This time let's select the baseline option. Click on the screen. And here you have got the baseline method of dimensioning. Let's erase these. Activate the quick dimension again. Select the geometry. Select the geometry. Press enter. This time I will select the ordinate option, click on the screen and you have got these ordinates for all of these points. Let's erase these again, activate the quick dimension, select the geometry. This time I will select this datum option. AutoCAD is asking you to set the new datum point so I will select this as the new datum point. Datum point is the reference point. After selecting the datum point, you have to go back to the ordinate option and click on the screen. So now you can see that AutoCAD has made this point as zero point and is dimensioning the rest of the ordinate with respect to this zero point. To set the datum point back to origin, go to quick dimension, select the geometry, press enter. Go to datum point and set the datum point back to 0, 0. So we already have the coordinates in the direction. So this time I'll so this time I will just move in the horizontal direction and click on the screen. So you can see that now these ordinates are with respect to the origin. 